once Jesus told this story. And this story was to explain to people a little bit about what his kingdom would be like. He said that his kingdom would be like a wedding celebration. And at this wedding celebration, there were ten bridesmaids. And each of them had a lamp because the groom was going to be arriving at night time, which was a tradition back then. So each bridesmaid had a lamp, and in those days to make the lamp burn, they would have poured in oil to keep the lamp burning. And they had lamps so that they could be outside to greet the groom and that they could see properly when this happened. Five of the bridesmaids were wise. Five of the bridesmaids were foolish. You see, the foolish bridesmaids took their lamps, but they didn't take any extra oil with them. So this meant that when, they, when their lamp burned up all of the oil in it, when there was nothing left, they'd have no spare to relight their lamp. The five wise bridesmaids took their lamp and they also took extra flasks of oil to prepare if their lamp stopped burning. Well, everybody at the wedding celebration was waiting for quite a long time. The bridegroom had been delayed. And soon, all ten bridesmaids became tired and fell asleep. But then all of a sudden, at midnight, there was a shout. Quick, quick, the groom is here. The groom is here. Come out to meet him. All ten bridesmaids woke up and picked up their lamps. But there was a problem. Their lamps had stopped burning. You see, while they had fallen asleep, in that time, their lamps had used up all of the oil inside. And now that the groom was arriving and it was dark, their lamps were out. The five wise bridesmaids had prepared for this. They simply lifted out their flask of extra oil poured more oil in their lamp, relit the flame, and their lamps were back on. But the five foolish bridesmaids had not prepared. They turned to the wise ones and said, Give us some of your oil because our lamps have gone out. But the wise bridesmaids replied, We can't. We can't. There isn't enough oil for you and us. You'll have to go and you'll have to buy oil from somewhere nearby so that you've got some for yourselves to light your lamps. So off rushed the five foolish bridesmaids. But guess what? While the five foolish bridesmaids were rushing away to this nearby shop to buy some oil, the groom arrived. The five foolish bridesmaids missed what they had been waiting for. The groom arrived and those who were ready went inside with him and the bride into the wedding feast. And when they had gone inside, the door was shut behind them. Later, the five foolish bridesmaids returned. They knocked on the door. They said, Lord, let, Lord, let us in. Please let us in. But the person at the door said, I tell you the truth. I don't know who you are. And the five foolish bridesmaids were shut out from the wedding feast. Jesus finished the story by, by turning to the people who he was telling the story to and telling them to stay alert because they do not know the day or the hour. And what Jesus meant by that was this. At this moment in time, Jesus is in heaven at the right hand of his father God. He was here on earth, he died, he rose back to life three days later and then he ascended into heaven. He went to be with his father in heaven. But one day Jesus will return. That's a promise and it's made in the Bible. We don't know when that day is going to be. We don't know what time that is going to be. But we need to be prepared. Just like the ten bridesmaids didn't know when the groom would arrive, we don't know when Jesus is going to return. 
So we can be either like the five foolish bridesmaids or the five wise bridesmaids. Either we are prepared for Jesus returning or we are not prepared. How can we be prepared for Jesus returning? How can we be ready? Well, to put it simply, for us to be ready for Jesus' return, we have to be right with God. If when Jesus is returned, we are not right with God, then we will be lost forever and we will be shut out from the wedding feast. And in similar, in similar fashion to some of the other stories we've heard this term, the wedding feast represents heaven. If we are prepared, if we are right with God and we have had our sin dealt with and we have been forgiven, when Jesus returns, then we will be let into the wedding feast. So, are we like the foolish bridesmaids or are we like the wise ones? Are we unprepared for Jesus' return or are we ready?